Hello, and welcome to the Truth Daily Devo, where we strengthen and encourage believers through a consistent and faithful engagement with Scripture. I'm Tracy Dunlap, a co-founder of Truth Fellowship Community Church in Panama City Beach, Florida, where my husband Damien is the lead pastor, and I want to thank you for joining us today. Financial literacy is a hot topic these days. It was a hot topic back in the Bible days, too. Today's passage of scripture discusses debt. This isn't debt we get ourselves in from overspending. It's debt we get ourselves into thinking we're helping out others. It's about debt we settle in and struggle to get out of the longer we wait. Let's jump into the Word to see what God says about this. Proverbs chapter 6, verses 1-5, through 5, New Living Translation My child, if you have to put up security for a friend's debt, or agreed to guarantee the debt of a stranger, you have trapped yourself by your agreement and are caught by what you said. Follow my advice and save yourself, for you have placed yourself at your friend's mercy. Now swallow your pride, go and beg to have your name erased. Don't put it off, do it now. Don't rest until you do. Save yourself like a gazelle escaping from a hunter, like a bird fleeing from a net. Being in debt to others is to allow others a larger role in determining your future than they should have. It doesn't matter if someone else is a friend or a stranger. Agreeing to pay someone else's debt if they cannot pay it themselves is a dangerous situation to put yourself in. One must not delay in getting out of that situation. Even if it seems embarrassing to have to admit that poor choice, a person cannot let that stop them. Once out from under that choice of debt, a person can be financially free. The goal here is to get out of debt. First and foremost, we must take a good hard look at our financial decisions and see which ones are poor decisions. Have we taken on the debts of others? What can we do to remove ourselves from that situation? What about our own debt we have created? Are we actively planning and budgeting to be debt-free? Finally, let's consider all the wonderful options and benefits of freeing ourselves of all debt. It will be liberating, like a bird fleeing a net. It will allow us to go and experience life in ways we could not have done otherwise. Let's pray. Lord, give us the right perspective on money. We do not want a greedy desire for it. We also don't want to be lacking knowledge when it comes to earning it, saving it, and spending it. God, we need your wisdom on how to manage money. Show us how to get out of poor financial decisions. Show us where to go, what to say, and how to say it. Open our eyes to faulty habits and practices when it comes to money. Help us to be good stewards of our financial obligations and show us the wise and healthy ways to be a financial blessing to others. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks again for joining us, and we look forward to continuing this journey through Scripture each weekday. Have a fantastic day. God bless.